Hi, this is Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is a battle on the Erlenberg map, and we're following Arti Noob in his object 252U, otherwise known as the Defender. He has a mission running. Let's have a quick look. It's the HT 12 mission called Sturdy Armor, which requires you to block three times the hit points of your vehicle. Um, not sure if this is um, going to be the objective of the game here, but um, yeah, we'll see how he progresses in that. So he's platooned up um, with a KV-3 and a Tiger-1. Um, it's a tier 8 to tier 7 game, so there's a few choicey targets there. And he's heading to this midpoint here where the bridge is. Um, there's a hull down position there that you can face the enemy and um, catch them while they're crossing or yeah trying to attack so yeah so here's the hold down position and just as he gets there the T29 turns up and he snaps in a shot as the T29 is facing its side to him there's an Eagle 7 there as well now um, uh, Eagle 7 pulls back before he's reloaded it's got a reasonably long lead, uh, load time this vehicle and he's uh, also spotted a few more vehicles. Now, um, uh, that's an IS there, he misses... Oh, no, sorry, the bounced arm and not penetrated. Um, so the Object 252 is a little bit like the IS-6, but it's more heavily armoured and has a slightly better gun. Now, the other thing is he's noticed a T-28 prototype who looks like he is isolated. Um, so it gives him an opportunity to go one-on-one. -on -one. Puts in a big shot there, the uh, T-28 prototype misses. Um, and he should reload before the T28 prototype does. So, puts in another big hot uh, shot. The um, prototype's down now to a single shot, uh, though he gets one damaging shot in on Arty Noob. And this should be the killing blow, which it is, yep. So basically, a yeah, tasty snack. Now, this is another hull down position here, but um, will it give him an opportunity? We'll just see, but I think he's Checking out with a T29 there is um, a target, or in fact, yeah, are there other enemy tanks coming up the line there? Now, he got spotted there, so I think he's just decided yep, go back to that original position. Um, see if there are more enemy tanks there. In fact, there are. Snaps a shot at the VK3002, which takes him out of the game, sends him back to the garage. Um, there's an IS there, which he shot at earlier, which is 460, could be a single shot. Gets that shot in, just leaves him on 13 hit points. Um, so there you go. Now, the shot went in there on Arty Noob. Let me just show you where he is. You can just see it on top of the turret there. Um, that's the weak spot, or the major weak spot on the um, 252U, apart from the pike nose, the typical thing. He just got a hit on his gun there, but that was deliberate. Um, basically, and he got, takes the Eagle 7 out. Um, so, what he's doing here is pushing the front of his tank up on the um, mound of dirt and rubble to basically keep his turret top um, covered and that just means only his gun and his gun mantle are exposed um, and he gets a hit there from the T29 can he get shot in he's just aiming for the commander's hatch there that's just probably bounced on top of the turret there T29 does have a strong turret a bit better off aiming at the um, lower plate really uh, but um, he's down now too what could be a one shot for a large calibre gun so discretion is the better part of valour oh, I think he's shaking his turret there going what's going on here anyway he's up to 2.7k so quite reasonable he's really almost double his um, hit points of his vehicle which is always a good target for you now he's got a side shot there on the target too fires through a gap in the building so it's a lot of these little gaps here that are potentially exploitable it obviously depends on where the enemy is at the time and he's just making sure is he exposed to the T29 he's just trying to feather a shot there can he get that in waits for the uh, aiming circle to get as small as possible and takes out the T29 so there's one tank up um, got a bit more hit points in hand I think he's just missed a shot there potentially on the Tiger 2 or the Tiger 2's looking at him in fact now he's got a side shot on the AT-15A takes him down to a one shot leaves him on 81 hit points. You can just see the shot came in there from the Tiger 2. It's bounced one from the AT-15, but he doesn't want to really lose too much more in the way of hit points here. Um, that will cramp his style to some extent. 
So it's just looking around at what opportunities and here also not necessarily a well-known fact you can cross the river here without going through the um, over the bridge. Uh, he just bounces a shot from the Tiger 2 so he does know that the Tiger 2 is just fired and he's just, just hung up a bit here but what he's doing is trying to cross and this is not deep enough to drown or it is deep enough to drown but it's not so deep that you can't get out. He's looking for a side shot on the um, Tiger 2 but bounces off but luckily for him the Tiger 2 shot bounces off him as well. And he's got a side shot on the KV uh, VK100 I should say and he's just missing opportunities here. 23 hit points he's left on as uh, my good friend Stewie JP would say that's 22 more than he needs so here he is bullying their target 2, puts a shot in through his front plate, takes him out so they're now three tanks up and he's just shy of 4,000 damage so cranking along here but he's got a few tanks up here you can subtract some hit points from gets rid of the AT-15A although that was that uh, very low hit point there now he's got the um, VK-100 um, he's just pulling back while he's reloading he's got a Leo there now he's come out quite helpfully to um, bait the VK and basically or perhaps take a shot from him so he's coming up here on the VK and see if you can get a shot in puts a shot in through his lower plate and the VK looks yeah looks like he's taken a hit from the, so sorry the Leo's taken a hit from the VK and so Artie's just reloading he'll come out and push out in front now you notice he's still firing standard rounds here so he hasn't needed to resort to premium rounds just good placement of his shots well he's only got one left so ultimately he'll get back to standard rounds the um, ice 2 2 takes out the VK so they're now four tanks up and looks like the well in command of this game there is only three tanks left on the enemy side so this clearly wasn't a 15 this is 15 match but uh, look he's done his um, HC-12 mission to be honest he's well there's two two targets there um, do 2,000 damage and block three times the hit points of your vehicle so he's done his damage target without a problem but uh, yeah I don't think you'll get that many more shots on him shoots the SU-152 through the wall now that is something you can do with um, APCR can't do it with HE or heat rounds because they'll hit the wall and explode but um, yeah you can, anything that's destructible you can shoot through with AP or APCR just to in case you went away um, so that was the end of the um, ISU and now there's the Progetto 46 and the Borsig um, the Rhine metal Borsig Waffentrager is left and he's just sitting here rocking a little bit just basically again make himself a bit of a hard target case um, he's been spotted. They do have one tank on cap but uh, I think what they're trying to do is get rid of the rest of the tanks. The ice 2 2 goes out and uh, we might just zoom out and see what's happening. Yep, okay there's the Progetto. Adding new fires that misses. Now the Progetto gets tracked and repairs. Will he get another shot in? Possibly. Let's just see. No, Progetto goes down. So now it's the last tank remaining is the Borsig. Yeah, just been spotted in the corner there. Nadi Noob gets a line up on him. Will he get a shot in there? Yeah, not bad. Um, this got fairly broad dispersion on this gun, as you can see how big the aiming circle is compared to the target, but he does get some damage out of that. Brings him up to 5.5k. And he's blocked 33.60, but yeah, unless the um, Borsig fires at him and hits him, he won't necessarily get the chance to block anymore. And the Borsig goes down. So that's the end of the game. Let's have a look at the results. So some pretty impressive results here. Uh, the Ace Tanker badge for the overall performance. Um, massive amount of credits. He got the uh, Top Gun for getting seven kills. The Steel Wall for the amount of blocked. Um, Spartan for being, uh, yeah, playing with very low hit points and the um, high caliber reward for the total amount of damage. Uh, total damage done was 5,554 uh, little amount of assisted damage and he blocked 3360. So um, 1723 base experience, fantastic result there, very high result. Uh, I think that was his highest um, experience in that tank. Um, so the IS 2-2 finished with just under 2,000 damage. So you can see um, Adi Noob did the bulk of the damage um, of the team, but the rest of the 
most of his team did over a thousand damage, so yeah, quite reasonable. Um, 22 shots fired, 19 hit, that's pretty good accuracy, but again, most of his shots were at uh, close range or very, very carefully aimed. Um, 16 penned, uh, again, mostly using um, standard rounds, so uh, most of his cost was in ammunition and consumables, um, but he still made 144,000 credits, very handy profit there, and you can see, yes, his maximum result. Anyway, well done, Hardy Noob.